Hey guys, today I'm excited to talk to you about the movie Sisu. Listen, I can't even talk about it without laughing because this movie is absolutely insane. It is insanity. It is one of the bloodiest things I have watched in a long time. And I just watched like Renfield and Evil Dead Rise. Like this thing is pure insanity. It is an absolute gore fest. So listen, if you saw the trailer, it literally pretty much sets up for exactly what this movie is. There's like this gold miner and he's all like, hey, look, I discovered a lot of gold. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, what am I going to do about it? And then there's like these Nazis that are like, oh, well, we're just going to try to kill you. And then he just wants to take his gold somewhere. He just wants to be rich. It's all he wants. He's worked very hard his whole life. Uh, and this kind of turns into this like Western war movie. I say Western because like, you know, it's Sandy. This is a gold rush. He's a gold miner. Like there's that stuff going on. And then, and then it's just like bananas. Like there are tanks and like bombs and people explode. And it is so gory. And there is some sort of a story here, like the crumbs, little bit of a story sprinkled through. Nobody's paying attention to the story, guys. Nobody is paying attention to the plot in this movie. This is just there to just have blood and gore and gross and insanity. That is literally what this movie is there for. So if that is what you are looking for, if you want like a eh, plot that like, has kind of a funny ending at the end that'll make you go, <laughs> that was a good line, Sisu. That was that was a good line at the end. Like, then that's what, that's what it gives you. Um, but, I mean, listen, it is so disgusting. You guys know I love my gore. I love blood and gore. And there were a couple times where I was like, oh, okay. Like, I was trying to eat lunch while watching this, which is probably not the best decision. So maybe... Maybe that was part of it. I don't know. But um, it's good, though. Like, and it's fun and it's entertaining. And there's lots of, oh, no, they did not type of moments, you know, where you're like, oh, they just raised the bar even more. Oh, my gosh, I can't believe they did that. It's one of those type of movies, right? It's an hour and a half. It breezes through, which is fantastic. Uh, it flies. Like, you know, you start it and then all of a sudden it's over because you're just, like, glued to the screen watching this crazy action-packed gore fest. That is what... This thing is, so if that is what you are looking for, you are going to be thrilled, you are going to be happy. Uh, if you can't do gore and blood and you really want like a story and a plot, then maybe this one isn't for you. Listen, I gave it a three out of five because I think it's fun and entertaining and I love blood and gore. If I didn't love blood and gore, this would not be my jam. So full warning to you guys. Um, and this hits theaters on a Friday, the 28th of April and uh, it's fun. It's a fun movie. And if you're into fun and blood and craziness and... 90 minutes of insanity, then go for it and check it out. If by the time you got to this review, you've already seen Sisu, let me know what you thought about it down below in the comments. If you haven't seen it yet, let me know. Do you plan to go see it? Uh, is blood and gore your kind of thing? Let me know your thoughts. Be sure to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out more videos like this one. Follow me over on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and check me out at mamasgeeky.com. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time.